Hello beautiful ones and crafting friends. This is RJ. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks so much everyone for your comments from my previous card. I really do appreciate that. So again I thought I'd try to do that again. So I was again inspired from another thing from Pinterest and I want to share that one with you um, first. And here is the card that I was inspired. I, I made from um, an inspiration from Pinterest. I think it turned out well. I'm sorry, you guys. Here, wait. Let me do this. This. Here's the card. I think it turned out well. Um, I have this paper pad that I got from, I think it was Tuesday morning. And it's a 12 by 12 pad. And I'm sorry I don't have it in front of me. But I will have it um, in my list if you check out my blog. It have all the little um, items there, and these are from. Well, this one is from a, a McGill's die, and this is a Recollections. Um, I'm sorry, Spellbinders Classic die, and the the rhinestones are from my stash from Michaels. So, oh, quick tip. I don't know if I told you before. Um, with the embossing, I don't know if you guys can see the embossing there. See how deep that impression is. If you take a spritz bottle, and I have my Inks Essentials, and it, and just take a lightly spritz over your paper before you put it in your embossing folder, and it gives that great impression. And that's just a tip that I always want to remind you guys. And so let me share with you the little, this is a simple guide card. Um... Because, you know, a lot of people are always kind of confused about what you can do for a guy's card. And, you guys, I use this. This is a Cuddlebugs. This is a Cuddlebugs um, die that I have. It has a little um, cushion in the back. And um, it just takes two B plates and your um, base plate. And it cuts. So, I use the um, hearts for this one. And I use... This Dyrus, oh, hold on. This Dyrus, this is called Basket Weave. This Basket Weave um, embossing folder. And the only thing that I didn't do, you guys, is that I need to um, glue this down. And uh, everybody has their glue of choice, and I have mine, and now that I'm doing a live video, I can't find it, but I found it now. So what I normally like to do first is to put the top layer, the top layer, sorry you guys, I trust nothing but almost glue when it comes to cards. All I do is take a heavy, um, a couple of stacks of books, but I have some. Um, wood frames that I have that are not good anymore and I just stack them on top of each other and that just flattens it out and I'm cool with that that's our little secret so let me move this off the way because I'm going to have to use it again I need my grid you guys because I can't do any uh oh sorry guys I can't do anything straight Nope, 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 That looks pretty good to me. I'll check it out, you guys. First time right, and I even did it on the camera. Whoop, whoop. Okay. So now I repeat that same thing to the back one. Just make sure that I coat the whole paper. And I don't do it heavy, you guys. I, I do it a couple of times over, but um, some people I know are heavy-handed. I can be, but after doing this so much, I kind of learned how not to be. And I apologize if, you, if, if the um, video sounds like it's shaking. I got this neat little... Um, it's supposed to be for your iPhones or your um, camera phones or um, I think it's for iPhones but I use it for my flip and I love it 
it um works great it does the job um, I just maybe need to get something more sturdier as far as um, and I want this to go portrait so uh oh wrong way you always take the messed up side and you hide the imperfections so nobody can see those and only you be the one that knows I think that's right. Hold on, you guys. I need to check my. Yeah. There we go. Hope I'm still in frame there. And I have this neat little um, adhesive thing that I got. I don't think I got it at the um, CH, or not the CHA, the uh, scrapbook show. Last year, the year before, I didn't go last year, the year before. Um, and so, I use that to adhere my little hearts so that I can stick them on my project. And it's great for uh, anything that's um, less, than t less than two inches. Hold on again, you guys. You know, I can't do anything straight. Need some guidance. I think that should do it. And then what I have, what I usually do, you guys, um, when I have this little um, adhesive extra, this neat little thing that takes off adhesive, and I just gently go over it until it's gone. think it is and there we have a guy card and a ladies card all right you guys so if you like my little demonstration I love to hear your thoughts and comments please keep them coming thanks for your time as always in parting I wish you peace love blessings till our next time Take care. Bye for now.